Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to get into today's video. As we're going to get into is building kind of a dorm room situation. Maybe apartment complex might be the more appropriate like terminology for it, but either way, it's the spot where I can dump a lot of the Sims from our 100 Baby Challenge, at least eight and a home for where they can stay, kind of have their personalities within it. But obviously we don't know who's moving in, so we're just gonna kind of deck it out how we want and have fun with it. So let's just get into the build and see what we get into. For the overall look, I really didn't have an idea of what I wanted or how to, to design it. I just knew I wanted like a apartment place. So this is kind of my second time because I, one, I was trying to do, utilize the like the elevators, I thought those could work. Uh, obviously they do not. Uh, they only work in apartment complexes, unfortunately, which Sims, I know we're getting horses, uh, but I would like some elevators, no? I don't know, I personally love building community lots. I don't know if I'm weird like that. I don't know if anybody else enjoys that. But that's kind of my thing that I really personally have been enjoying. But as of right now, we're kind of just doing the overall layout. And as you can see, there's gonna be like this long hallway is what I envision that you can go down. And then you typically, I did a lot of dog walking, you have like the lobby and then like the offices, the leasing offices, and then also the way back or either on the side or something is where the elevators are. I do eventually change that just because I had to switch to stairs. So those get a little lengthy. Um, and then as of right now, you guys can kind of see the floor plan for some of the rooms I'm building. I kind of wanted to do it a certain way. Like I saw some other YouTube, uh, builders do it is they go room by room rather than the exterior, than the interior. I thought that might help me for realizing the size and then the shape of the overall build. And as you can see right now, I'm trying to include a side pool, which we end up doing, um, but I was trying to do the t second floor to be a bit wider, which I do end up getting rid of. I just expand the first floor. I don't know why the integrity of this place does not feel safe. So if you guys have some amazing builds that has similar structure to that, that you think would help like teach me how to do that to where it doesn't look so weird, I would love to see those. So... Yeah, uh, for the first floor, I haven't fi finalized, like, decorating or anything, um, but I, the, kind of the plan was to have, like, this open living room space that, a communal, like, hangout spot. It's probably gonna be very basic, because if it is an apartment, they don't get that fancy. And then on the other side of it, I was thinking a gym with a sauna, which we'll eventually add, uh, and whatnot. So, upstairs, you guys can see, I'm trying to make this so eight sims can live in it. I'm gonna boost eight of my kid sims into this place have them live here uh obviously the decoration won't match but i end up finding it to be kind of fun to utilize james turner's random pack generator which obviously you have to pick which packs you have and then it'll randomize different ones you can use which is has been a lot of fun i've only finished so many rooms as of yet uh, but i'm very excited this will be a two-part video if i haven't been hinting at that quite yet this is eight bedrooms also doing the exterior and whatnot but obviously i'm having so much fun it's i'm definitely gonna be doing it more than once uh not sure if anybody will be able to utilize houses like this uh, but i'm definitely gonna find it fun and feel a little or feel a lot more comfortable kicking my kids out rather than just putting them in some house obviously the decoration isn't geared towards them it's just decoration with the random packs I generated, but at least it's a house that actually fits them, if that makes sense. So I'm personally, like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Now for the roofing, it did take a bit of experimenting. I thought for this random ledge, I could utilize one of the, this shape, I don't know what, that, one of those, because there's like the five, six sided uh, and whatnot for that type of roofing, and I just utilized the one that fit that corner the best. Uh, and yeah, I don't think I did that bad, obviously. You guys can see this is the final look after landscaping, adding windows and whatnot. And I overall love it. And you guys can see there is the pool still on the side. And I did gear the windows towards the bedrooms. It did take me a while to figure that out. But yeah, but here's the random pack generator. I had to choose and utilize, uh, not choose, but, or utilize, not utilize, but choose which ones I have. So I had to take out the kits that had the clothing in it. Not sure why people use that. Let me know if that's something for maybe like you theme your sims off of or whatnot because that's only clothes. But we got werewolf, star wars, dog, cats and dogs, and also courtyard and machino kit. So moving on to inside, first things first, I had to add the lights. Obviously, I didn't really have or understand a style that we should choose for the build. I kind of just 
winged it. So at first I had that cats and dogs like, so I was like, okay, this looks the most normal. Star Wars, like I don't really want to use Star Wars lights. Although I eventually, I do eventually change out all the lights to fit the Star Wars ones. It just, it made the most sense. I was really, I don't know, because I knew I wanted an archway from the entryway. I've, in all the apartments places, I wanted like a little entryway where you could take your shoes off, put your keys up. Uh, and I wanted an archway, but the only archway in those packs was the the werewolves one. So we kind of, I started going towards this like brick stone look. But I do change that. I end up doing still a lot of just blacks and whites with very little pops of colors. I don't know why, but that's kind of how it ended up. Uh, even though the mosquito, I think mosquito pack has like a lot of vibrant colors, but we ended up not utilizing that. Or even the Oasis one has very pretty bathroom tiles. Uh, I do just end up, you know, doing the black and white. It just felt the most sense. I think it was because I was trying to accompany the Moschino pack with the bricks, but eventually I slowly just take out the bricks. So as you guys can see, it was it was a struggle to figure out the, the style, but I definitely recommend going from wallpaper and then moving forward from there. Um, but yeah, so there's where I'm taking out the archway, which maybe you realize that I can change the wallpaper. And another hint, if you guys are going to do this, do not, this is like training you. It's like literally training you not to hit that copy button because as soon as you hit copy, it eliminates all the things you like you clicked on, which I don't know why the Sims thought that would be helpful, but I don't know. Maybe if I didn't have that, I'd cry, but either way, I'm crying. So either way, I, I, I think I learned my lesson. Cross my fingers. I'm probably going to learn the hard way later still, so... Moving on, the best tiles I could find for the bathroom was that stone. It's honestly a really petty pattern. It was just hard to find a flooring to match and then also for it to make sense as a bathroom wallpaper, but I ended up loving it. And now kind of furnishing our place. This is where you guys get to see a lot of it is just the blacks and whites with slow pops of colors. Originally, I just wanted it to have the pops of blues, but some of the items I needed to utilize eventually has different colors. So it'll slowly be incremented, as you guys will see throughout the build. Um, another thing that I found, I don't remember if it's in this room or the other, is that I end up having to add base game. The only time I add base game is if there's no other items. I just felt like if I include base game, base game has so much within itself. Like there's literally, we do base game builds for people to utilize. So if I had just done that, it, it would have felt a little cheaty necessarily. I don't know my own personal opinion. So I do use some base game for certain uh, parts of the build, but I take it off immediately after. And as for a pet, originally I was like, man, this place is so clean. I feel like they wouldn't want a pet, but I was like, okay, maybe they'll have a cat. You know, they don't have to take it out in and, in and out of the house, get dirt and whatnot, but a cat maybe. I just feel like I was, I was going to have a cats and dogs build. It, it felt a little cheeky if I didn't add anything pet related. So I ended up adding that. Uh, I ended up adding a full on spot for a cat. It makes sense, right? And here you guys can see I added the base game part for the kitchen because they, they literally had no counters, they had no fridge, they, they literally nothing. I was just like, okay, well, we're struggling. So the ki the kitchen stuff is base game. And yeah, I think basically the rest of it is just kind of, I try my best to follow the scheme. I did love that uh, Star Wars back to back to, there we go, table. So I ended up wanting to utilize that and... Like, like, for all of the apartments, which I feel like you guys will eventually see, is they each kind of have the similar layout, which I'm hoping you will come across, but as for each area, the themes and the colors, I wanted to be contrast. So the first room, black and white with small pops of color, uh, which you guys can see the rug is where I feel like I started to deviate. I don't know if the rug really fits, but I just felt like that table needed a rug, and it was the rug we had for the packs and kits I have. Uh, or was able to utilize, so we kind of just lifted it I I personally lifted at that, kind of just like, kind of, eh, I feel like there's a better one out there, but I'll just leave it as is. And for the rest of the build, I feel like it's pretty simple, I just wanted to add bits of clutter. The other thing, now that I'm like reflecting back on it, uh, is that I feel like I didn't add that many activities. It is such a small space that I wanted to make sure at least one kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and then also books. Obviously, that's not the most entertaining, but considering how small these places are, there isn't, it isn't a lot for a whole room, a whole lot of room for stuff. And speaking of the colors, where I was trying not to divert from it, you guys could see I connected the black feeder with the black bowl because they didn't just have that as a set. I had to like combine that. 
but I think, I forgot what maybe eventually, like, changed. Oh, it was this, it was the curtain. I was like, oh, dang, there's a bit of red in it. I don't know, it was just, like, it was such a cute curtain, and it had little fishies for, as a cat owner, and I was just like, we have to keep it, so... And that's where I started to deviate, I think. It, it's not, like, a whole lot of colors in this build, but overall, it did it did have some, and that curtain was so cute. I think that's another thing I really appreciated about doing this, like, randomized, uh, what's it called? Randomized packs is that I was able to experience different stuff from kits that I feel like I don't really utilize a lot or I, I don't think I've used it at all, such as the fish curtain. I really want to do like a crack crazy lady place, which might be a, a coming in one of my builds, but I know as of right now, after I finish this like dorm, like apartment, I guess this is definitely apartment, apartment lot based, I want to do a retirement home for our 100 baby challenge just because we have so many sims coming in and out not not saying that are as of right now during this current time period that she's retiring anytime soon cross our fingers but when we do i want that space available to them and i feel like it'd be a fun build i don't think i've ever done a retirement home so that'll be a lot of fun as for the bathroom and entryway you guys can see i'm gonna eventually add a bench we got this little cute mirror little planter the bathroom although the window i kind of wanted to delete i did end up keeping it just because i didn't want to change too much out there it, the windows interfering with where the mirror would go, so the mirror is quite low. Obviously, if anybody wants to download this spot, I definitely if it bugs you. I definitely recommend just deleting the window. I was just I don't know why. I think it was just because I knew I had eight or six more rooms plus the the hallways and whatnot to finish. That so I was just like, we're just gonna leave it. I don't want to exchange the exterior. Maybe in the future we might. If it bugs you guys, let me know in the comments. It's such a small thing. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this one. I think we're coming to the end of it. I think I added a few more details that I was like, oh, this would be nice for clutter items, such as, like, the cat treats, uh, the cat food. I think I added cat treats, um, and I was just like, okay, what else can we add to this place to make it feel a bit more? But I also wanted to make sure my sims can go around and utilize it. So, yeah, there's that mirror that I was like, oh, it's the only one that fits. Uh, so we had to make it work, um, but... Either way, it's a cute mirror. It just didn't feel like the aesthetic of the rest of the house. It's a bit dramatic, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. I guess it's mosquito packs, and maybe they're very artsy, because we do have, like, the art on the wall. I was like, what, what reason can we have this? They could just be artsy. You never know. And I think that's it. I think I was just, oh, I was looking for a little bit of clutter. That's why I added, like, the little plushie from the werewolf pack. And, yeah, I think we're ready to get to the little bit of tour-wise. So, inside, you guys can see we got, like, this little, the walkway, which I absolutely love. Like I said, I wonder a spot where maybe you can buy, like, a little shoe thingy. I couldn't find one in the kits we had. We have, like, this nice little kitchen, eating area, two spots to eat, which is nice. The bathroom, you guys got a quick glimpse. I feel like there's, there's not a whole lot in there. Oh, and that's where I realized we need a curtain in there. I will be adding that in the end. Um... And for the bedroom, honestly, I really like that bench from Star the Star Wars pack. Honestly, I'm a weirdo. I think I like it a lot. Um, and then, yeah, I think this is where you guys see. I was like, oh, God, we need a we need a curtain for that bathroom. There's, like, zero privacy. But, yeah, let me know. That's, like, the first room with the different packs. I definitely made sure we stuck to them. Uh, and, like I said, I really did enjoy it. So let's get into the next one. So what we randomly generated with James Turner's random generator packs is we were able to receive vampires, vintage glamour, bathroom clutter kit, growing together, and jungle adventures. So I thought we'd have a lot of color, maybe even some, I don't know, more to utilize. But one thing I struggled with was the lights. Uh, but I ended up with those rose gold lights and I kind of wanted to run with it, which you guys can see pink just became everywhere if you don't know anything about me is I like the color pink but um I ended up having to tone it down because we were limited on the flooring and you can see I made that mistake of accidentally copy and pasting something but with the flooring itself that I wanted to utilize it's I didn't really like the vampire one uh and I didn't really want any stone and the carpet was a lot so I ended up having feeling like I had to utilize the multi-colored tone like that's uh what's that floor from I forget but that multicolored flooring and I was like I needed to tone down the wallpaper so I as you guys can see I had it went from the fancy pink everywhere to white everywhere which is fine it just it made it a little easier to utilize the rose gold uh everywhere which I wanted to and 
yeah, so growing together made me did, like, at first I didn't think about it. I didn't really want any of these to have, like, kid stuff, but if they were going to do growing together, I feel like we had to have a bassinet. And funny enough, the only bassinet you can get, receive is either the vampire one with the kit or the locked one from growing together. And obviously, I could have done the cheat, but I, either I felt lazy at the time or I just didn't want to. But either way, I ended up like, using the vampire one. I was like, sure, why not? Uh, but I don't know. I found that very weird that the only bassinet that I could utilize was the one from the vampire kit unless I use a cheat. But, you know, it's growing together. Growing together, obviously, we don't have to have bassinets. We have to do stuff that makes us grow together, like a baby shower to unlock it. But that's enough of that little, small, weird tangent. For the room, you guys can see the like, little gold, not the gold, the rose gold for the mirror, the bedside stands, and then pink everywhere, which is my fave. And as for clutter, I didn't have a whole lot of options. Um, so it was the board games, and I was like, cool, I guess. That we I'd have a little more options, but, you know... And, ooh, that little seat thingy, when I found that item from Growing Together in the, like, when I did my little, uh, item review video, which you guys can definitely go check out, that was, I was like, I have to put this in every build. So, if I'm gonna be restricted to a few packs, I thought I had to use that one. So, yeah, and I think this is where I realized if I'm gonna do Growing Together, I have to add some baby stuff. So, I had the baby mat. I don't think I add a changing table, but I, there wasn't a whole lot of room, obviously, because it's a tiny spot, and I didn't think kids would be here, too. So, I made, all we have is the... The little play mat and then also a bassinet which you'll have to change out for the kids bed eventually if you wanted uh them to age up if you want them to have a bed or because honestly i think you can just have them sleep on that the little floor mat if you really wanted to or you're poor on money but i feel like that does kind of all of it and yeah moving on to the kitchen it kind of just easy peasy with the whites uh to match all the pink and tone it down um, honestly, I love the, I love the pinks. I don't know if I'd ever have a pink kitchen, but if I could, I probably feel like I would want to try. Uh, let me know if you guys would, or is pink, are you guys, I don't know, I feel like some people think pink's obnoxious. Obviously, I think too much pink is too much pink, uh, which is why with the white background, it felt necessary. Ooh, and the other thing I'm just remembering I struggled with is art pieces. Very limited on art pieces, so I kind of just reused the same one with different colors and patterns. Obviously, as you guys can see, to fill the wall, because I just felt like a lot of the wall is kind of naky in this place. There's not a whole lot of clutter in these options, and we made it work. And I'm sorry if you hear my cat singing in the background. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but yeah, so for the, the dining table, I had to use it the one of the bigger tables, obviously, just because there's there's no round ones or the smaller ones like I utilize in the other place so I thought we could use the extra seating obviously if you wanted to change out one of the tables or not tables one of the chairs for a to toddler yeah for a toddler you can have like one of those little seats there I feel like they might want that for that obviously I didn't think about that at the time because uh, um, I didn't want to really include all the stuff that toddlers need so I kind of just left it as is and I think we're coming to the end. Obviously, we got the seating area, which took me a second to, like, figure out how to arrange it because their seating area is slightly smaller because of the bathroom, the way the bathroom's lined up, and I wanted that bookshelf for some reason. I just feel like, I don't know, I kept pulling it out during the build, so I ended up wanting to put it in there. Uh, and I made it work, obviously. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, it's... It doesn't have as much clutter as I desired. Oh, and I had to throw in the suitcase as I was growing together. I was like, got to get a few iconic moments. Um, and I was like, what can I shove for clutter? I think I ended up using, like, the little train thing on the desk just because I was, like, in the city thing. And I, I, I don't know. It was just, like, what, what will work? What will fill the wall? And, oh, and the other thing, I think we had, like, the bathroom clutter kit. And I was like, okay, if I have to use that, I feel like we have to use the light switches so I put those everywhere or is it the bathroom clutter oh my god I think I might have mixed up the bathroom and the everyday clutter I don't remember is the light switches from growing together oh no oh my god because I kept mixing them up because you know when you copy something you have to re-plug them in so let me know if you guys know otherwise I will go check it out when I review the build uh if I can remember hopefully but, yeah, I think we're coming to, like, guess I said, this is basically it. Obviously, just throwing a few extra clutter items, the TP on top of the toilet. And, yeah, I think we're, we're golden. 
Um, oh, and I switched that light out. I was like, the, the light's ridiculous for a bathroom light. Um, but yes, we have the entryway, which I felt like was very naked. But like I said, I struggled to find little art. Um, I feel like this is a place you could definitely add to. We got our pink bathroom, which I find adorable. Honestly, I absolutely love. Um, uh, like I said, I don't know if I'd ever live in a pink place, but I feel like if I could, I would definitely try. We got all our kitchen, which... The artwork's not my favorite because I wish it had a white frame, but we, we worked with what we had. And then the bedroom, so. Okay, as you guys can see, this is all we finished. And yeah, honestly, I love it. I do love the look. I'll give you guys a quick little glance exterior-wise. Added some lights, a bit of the plants, the fencing, a little back garden, which you guys couldn't really see in the pre like the previous like fast-forward part. Um, and yeah, so the interior, nothing's down upstairs. I just kind of have a layout. The front door is obviously done, but nothing else. And none of the communal areas are done. Obviously, I added, like, bathroom stalls and the sauna. And I think the showers, just to give me an idea for the future of what I want. And this is all we've done. It's two different bedrooms. So let me know if you guys have a theme that you guys want us to do, or if I should just keep up with James Turner Random Generator. Like... What is his website? Because obviously I had a lot of fun limiting myself. But if you guys have any crazy wonky ideas or even just a residential person to live in there, I might honestly do one where they're cat crazy. Don't know. Maybe, maybe. But as of right now, I am really enjoying just randomizing the different piquettes. But I would love to hear what you guys have. So, and let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of the end out, like, outcome? And if you guys have done his random generated, like, what is, I don't know, website thing... Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it and if you guys found it kind of challenging at times. So, there will definitely be a part two. I'm not sure. There might probably have to be a part three and whatnot. Or we might just start speeding through them a bit quicker. I just kind of wanted to take my time out and kind of have fun with it. So, like I said, obviously we also had to do the exterior and figure that out too. So, I'm not sure if it'll go quicker after that. Um, but we'll, we'll definitely see. As of right now, there will definitely be a part two. So, yeah. And yay, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to this village, welcome on in. I am so very excited by this build. I love the idea of it. And I would love to hear you guys' building trips or if you got tip trips, tricks, tips and tricks. Uh, just because as you guys know, I'm learning and kind of going through this journey with you guys. So do let me know down below what you guys think. And yeah, and any ideas you guys have for the rest of the rooms. We got a lot of rooms to fill. So I would love to hear you guys' ideas. So I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.